Hello my dear welcome here today i'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful beaded v shaped bracelet at home i know you are thinking it's may be very difficult to make but one thing remember if i can make this then you also can make it the bracelet is based on brick stitch i am using here black and silver color delica beads but you can use your favorite color round beads too please consider one like and subscribe because it takes lots of time and efforts thank you so much so please check the material list we need some black delica beads 11 o silver delica beads 11 o toggle clasp or you can use any kind of clasp and then beading thread 0.20 mm and beading needle number 10 so let's make the bracelet at first take 270 cm long thread for 6 inch bracelet and leave approximately 16 cm long thread for tail. I'm gonna start with a ladder stitch so pick up 2 silver beads 11 o and if you wish you can use a stopper bead but I'm skipping here. Now go back through the first silver beads. So this is our base. Now I'm gonna make the second row. So pick up one silver and one black delica beads because I'm going to increase the row. You can see there is a thread bridge in between two silver beads. So pass the needle through this top uh, thread bridge. And do you want a matching earring video? Then please let me know in the comment section below. And then step up through the last black one. pick up one silver 11 o bead and then pass through the previous thread bridge because there is a no gap or you can say there is a no room in between so you have to uh, go back through the previous thread bridge and then step up through the last silver bead you just added so I'm gonna make the third row and also increasing the row so pick up one silver and one black beads and pass through the first thread bridge in between the silver and black beads. And then step up through the black one. Then pick up one black 11 o and pass through the last thread bridge or you can call next thread bridge. And then step up through the black one in the last you just added. Now pick up one silver beads and pass through the previous thread bridge because there is a no room or there is a no gap. So we need to go back through the previous thread bridge. And then step up through the last silver one you just added. So I'm gonna make and increase a new row. So pick up one silver and one black beads. And pass through the first thread bridge in between black and silver beads. And then step up through the black one in the last. Now I'm gonna start a new silver line so I have to put one silver in the center so pick up one silver and pass through the next thread bridge. And then step up through the one silver in the last. Pick up one black bead and pass through the last thread bridge. And then step up through the last one black you just added. Then pick up one silver and pass through the previous thread bridge because there is a no gap or no room. So you need to go back through the previous thread bridge. 
and then step up through the one silver in the last so now i'm gonna increase the next line so pick up one silver and one black and pass through the first thread bridge and then step up through the black one you just added pick up one silver and pass through the next thread bridge then step up through the last silver one you just added pick up one silver and pass through the next thread bridge then step up through the last silver one you just added so pick up one black and pass through the last thread bridge and then step up through the black one you just added then pick up one silver and pass through the previous thread bridge because there is a no gap and then step up through the one silver in the last now i'm going to increase and make a new row so pick up one silver and one black and pass through the first thread bridge and then step up through the black one in the last pick up one silver and pass through the next thread bridge step up through the silver one you just added one important things to remember when you complete two beads in the center color then you need to start a new color so pick up one black and pass through the next thread bridge then step up through the black one you just added then pick up one silver and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the silver one you just added and then pick up one black and then pass through the last thread bridge and then step up through the black one pick up one silver and pass through the previous thread bridge because there is a no gap or no room so step up through the last silver one now i'm going to make a new and increase a row so pick up one silver and one black bead and pass through the past thread bridge and then step up through the black one pick up one silver bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the last silver bead pick up one black bead and pass to the next thread bridge now step up through the black one you just added pick up one black and pass through the next thread bridge step up through the last black one you just added pick up one silver bead and pass through the next thread bridge step up through the last silver bead you just added 
pick up one black bead and pass through the last thread breach and then step up through the black one you just added. Pick up one silver bead and pass through the previous thread breach because there is a no gap or no room and then step up through the last silver one you just added. So this is our first unit. Now I'm gonna make the second unit. So now we have to start from here, this silver bead. So we have to reach this point. So I'm gonna step down through the next black one. Then I'm gonna step up through the silver one. So I'm gonna make a new row from here or you can call a new unit. So pick up one silver and one black and pass through the next thread bridge in between one silver and one black. Now I'm stepping up through the black one. Now pick up one silver bead and pass through the next thread bridge. Now I'm stepping up through the last silver one. Then pick up one black bead and pass through the next thread bridge. Now I am stepping up through the black one. Then pick up one silver and pass through the next thread bridge. Now step up through the last silver one. Now I'm gonna make a new row. So pick up one silver and one black and pass through the first thread bridge. So step up through the black one. Pick up one silver bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the silver one. Pick up one silver bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the silver one. Then pick up one black bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the black one. Pick up one silver and pass through the previous thread bridge because there is a no gap and then step up through the silver one you just added. I'm gonna make a new row so pick up one silver and one black bead and pass through the first thread bridge. Then step up through the black one. Then pick up one silver bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the same silver seed bead. Pick up one black bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the last black one. Then pick up one silver bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the last silver one. Now pick up one black bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the black one. Now pick up one silver bead and pass through the previous thread bridge because there is a no room. So now step up through the last silver one. Now I'm gonna make a new row and increase the row. So pick up one silver and one black bead and pass through the first thread bridge and then step up through the black one. Now pick up one silver bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then 
step up through the same silver bead you just added. Pick up one black bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the black one. Pick up one black bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the black one you just added in the last. Pick up one silver bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the silver one. Pick up one black bead and pass through the last thread bridge and then step up through the black one you just added. Pick up one silver and pass through the previous thread bridge because there is no room and then step up through the silver one you just added. So, as you can see, I have completed our second unit. Now, you have to count your border beads when you reach 8 beads in the top and 7 beads in the bottom. You need to start a new unit. So, I'm gonna make a new unit from here. Or follow the previous second unit making step to make the third unit. So repeat and continue up to your desired length. Now I'm gonna finish the bracelet. So again I'm gonna start from here. We have to reach this point. So I'm gonna step down through the black one. Then step up through the silver one. I'm gonna make a new row so pick up one silver and one black and pass through the next thread bridge then step up through the black one pick up one silver bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the silver one Pick up one black bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the black one you just added. Pick up one silver bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the last silver one. Now I'm gonna decrease the row so we need to step down through the next black one and then step down through the next black one in the next row then we need to step up through these two beads one silver and one black now i'm gonna make a new row so pick up one silver and one black bead and pass through the next thread bridge in between black and silver and then step up through the black one then pick up one black bead and pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the black one you just added in the last. And then pick up one silver bead and pass through the last thread bridge and then step up through the last silver bead you just added. Now I'm gonna decrease again so step down through these two black beads then step up through these two beads one silver and one black. Now I'm gonna make a new row so pick up one silver bead and one black bead and then pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the black one then pick up one silver bead and then pass through the next thread bridge and then step up through the silver one you just added now I'm gonna decrease the line so step down through these two black beads as shown
and then step up through these two black beads as shown. So this is our final row. So pick up two silver bead and pass through the next thread bridge. Then step up through the last silver one. Now I'm gonna make a closer loop. So pick up six silver beads and clasp. Then step down through these couple beads. You can reinforce this but I am skipping the step. Now secure the end with couple knots here and then cut off the extra tail thread. Now I'm going to make the another side like this. Attach a needle in this side and then pick up. 3 silver bead and then clasp and 3 silver bead. Then step down through this way. And then secure the end with couple knots here and then cut off the extra tail thread. So I hope you understand it. If yes then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more jewelry making tutorials like this. See you in next tutorial till then take care bye bye.